In Malaysia, two species of spinach commonly consumed as vegetable dishes are red spinach Amaranthus dubius and green spinach Spinosa oleracea. Spinach is known to contain high nutritional value and content such as vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin C, chlorophyll, as well as multiple secondary metabolites such as alkaloid, phenylalanine, and many more. It is commonly used as a herbal remedy to cure gastric problems, indigestion, anemia, to aid in weight loss, improve kidney function, and boost bone strength. Dietary fiber that is present is able to prevent and treat various gastrointestinal disorders such as constipation, obesity, coronary heart disease, colorectal cancer, and diabetes. Crackers are big products that have characteristics of crispy, open texture, less sweet, savory, and it is a popular snack for all walks of life. In recent years, demand for food that is rich in dietary fiber has increased which lead to development of many fiber-rich products and ingredients. Therefore, this study was conducted to determine the right formulation to incorporate green and red spinach powder into bakery products. Recent reports have emphasized the utilization of plant sources that have been exploited in cracker formulation for various purposes. Moving on to methodology for plant materials, 500 grams of green and red spinach that were purchased from the local market in Jilly, Kelantan were washed under a running water to remove dirt and soil while the roots of the vegetables were removed. The vegetables were then cut into smaller pieces before being dried in the oven at 60 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Dried spinach was grinded into powder form and kept in a screwed cap bottle at room temperature. For the development of green and red spinach crackers, ingredients used were flour, butter, sugar, salt, and water. The spinach powder was added in the dough at 5, 10, and 15% level of total weight. All ingredients were mixed using a blender until a soft dough was obtained before being sheeted into 0.3 cm thickness with square shape with a size of 3 cm times 3 cm and were baked in an oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Proximate analysis was being conducted to determine the moisture content, ash content, lipid content and protein content. The moisture content was determined by using the oven drying method. Ash content was determined using the muffled furnace at 600 degrees Celsius until whitish ash was obtained. Lipid was extracted using the petroleum ether and the content was determined using the stock tax system, while the protein content was determined by using the Jedal method. Sensory evaluation was carried out by using 7 skill hedonic with 40 undergraduate students from University of Malaysia Kelantan, Jolie Campus. The students rated the crackers based on attributes such as color, flavor, taste, crispiness, hardness, and overall acceptance based on likeness. Now let's proceed to results and discussion. For approximate composition, which can be seen in Table 1, for green and red spinach cracker, the moisture and carbohydrate content will decrease with increased percentage of spinach powder. In contrast, protein, fat and ash content of both crackers had increased with increased percentage of spinach. The increase in moisture content may be attributed to the presence of hydroxy groups in fiber which allow more hydrogen bonding to occur. Lower moisture content of a product would have better shelf stability as moisture content affects the physical and chemical aspects of food which relates with the freshness and stability for the storage of food for a long period of time. The increased content of a protein, fat and ash content in cracker were contributed by the compositions of macromolecules present in spinach such as carotenoids, vitamin C, vitamin K, folic acid, iron and calcium. Spinach has been known for its diversified nutritional composition, phytochemicals, and bioactives that will be able to promote health beyond basic nutrition. For the hardness properties of 
green spinach and red spinach cracker during storage, it can be seen that the hardness values of green and red spinach cracker increased as the higher percentage of spinach was incorporated. This may be due to the increase of fiber composition, which results in the lower binding of carbohydrate, thus reduce its breaking strength. The decreasing trend in hardness throughout the four weeks of storage could be due to the increase in moisture content in cracker during storage. Based on the results obtained from sensory evaluation, incorporation of 5% of green or red spinach received higher overall acceptability than crackers containing 10 and 15% of spinach. The incorporation of green spinach powder were able to receive generally higher preference in all attributes. In conclusion, the incorporation of green and red spinach in crackers is proven to help increase the nutritional composition of bakery products. It was found that by incorporating spinach powder into cracker, the cracker properties will have increased in hardness but decreased in lightness, redness, and yellow attributes. After considering the results obtained from sensory evaluation and proximate analysis, it is recommended that green or red spinach powder be incorporated in crackers formulation up to 5% level for commercialization purposes. Before I end my presentation, these are the list of references being used in this presentation. That is all for my presentation. I hope this study will be beneficial for all parties who wish to develop new food products by using fresh vegetables such as spinach, be it green or red spinach. Thank you.